What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to create neon light in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna do this using Eevee. And so the first thing we wanna do is let's create a shape. I'm just gonna do a Shift A, and I'm just gonna add a, we'll call it a plane for right now. We're gonna keep it very simple in the beginning. And so we're just gonna take this plane, move it over, and I'm actually going to add another shape on top of that. So I'm gonna do a Shift A, and I'm gonna add a cube. So we'll scale the cube down, move it up so that it's aligned, and we'll move it over right here. And so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create our emissive material, right? So what we wanna do is we just wanna have our cube selected. We just wanna go into our material right here. We wanna add a new material. In this case, um, we're gonna add just a simple material and we're just gonna change the surface option to emission. So when we change this to emission, notice how this changes colors. That's because this material is now emitting light inside of Blender. However, we can't really see what it's doing because we're in material preview mode. So let's jump over into rendered mode right here. And so a couple things we wanna do. So first off, I'm going to up the power of this to something like, we'll call it 20 for right now. Right, So we've got this going to a power of 20 right now. I'm also gonna delete out the light that's in this scene because I don't really need it anymore. Now, first thing you're gonna notice is you're not really getting a very good effect here, right? And part of the reason for that is because we need to go into our EV settings. We wanna turn on the option for bloom. So notice how when you turn on the option for bloom, now the emission of this object is emitting a lot more light inside of our scene. We can also like change the color of this. So let's say for example, we wanted like a blue emission. We're gonna do that right here. And so our next issue at the moment is this isn't very realistic. And the reason this isn't very realistic is because neon signs don't really look like this, right? Neon signs and neon lights are usually made by um, using a gas inside of like a glass tube. So what we wanna do is let's take this and let's create a number of tubes. So um, one way to do this is you can jump into the modifiers and you can add a wireframe modifier to the object. So we'll add wireframe. Notice how you can adjust the thickness right here. Well, one of the cool things about the thickness is the, the more that you add this, the brighter this is going to be because the more surface there is in here um, actually generating light inside your scene. One thing we might do is we might add a uh, material to our plane and turn the roughness down so we get some kind of like reflections in here. You do want to make sure that you turn on screen space reflections when you do this inside of Eevee for it to work properly. So that's one way to create kind of a neon light. Now, let's say that we wanted to do this similarly, but let's say we wanted to add it to maybe some text. So in order to do that with some text, we're just going to do a shift A. We're going to add a text right here. I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. So now we've got a piece of text in here. However, um, right now, if we were to apply this material to this, so if we were to apply this material, it's not really quite giving us the look that we're going for, right? So what we need to do is we need to take this piece of text and we need to adjust it so that it's made up of tubes. And so the first thing we want to do is turn our fill mode to none. What fill mode to none is going to do is that's going to basically not put fill on your text, right? So it's not gonna fill in these surfaces. But then we also need some geometry that's actually going to emit the light. So in order to do that, we can go into our geometry settings right here, and under the bevel, you can give this a depth. So we're gonna adjust the depth right here. And so basically what that's done is that's given us a piece of emissive material like this. So now if I rotate this, so now I've got kind of a neon text material in here. And then say you wanted this to be a different material than the first one, you can just come into your material settings right here. Um, you can just make this unique just by clicking in the option right here. Then you can adjust the color to something else, right? So something like this. So what's cool about this is if I tab into edit mode with this, this is actually live text meaning that really anything that I wanna put in here from a word standpoint, it's really easy to create. So I've seen a lot of interesting effects where people add like a backdrop to this or something like that. One other thing I wanna talk about though is let's say that you wanted to animate this either by flashing on and off or partially flashing. So flashing on and off is pretty easy, right? So you could just take this and you could just kind of keyframe the value in here. So let's say for example that we wanted um, we wanted this to start lit up with a value of like 10. So what we would do is we just type the value in here, then we could click over here in order to add that. But then let's say at 20, we wanted this to be a zero. We could just keyframe that to zero right here. So then if we click play, notice how that text is going to turn 
on and off like this. So if you don't want this to just be kind of uniform, but you want it to kind of flicker, you can also go into your animation tab. And what we're gonna do is we're going to keyframe the strength of the emission. So right now, for example, notice how this might be at something like 10. So we'll start with that. So we'll just keyframe that object right here. And notice how that keyframes this at a value of 10, but then if I tap the N key, um, I'm in the animation tab. If you go under the graph editor, like this, you can add a noise modifier. What the noise modifier is gonna do is that's going to allow you to um, basically adjust how bright this object is, like this. So notice how if I make this really tall or really short by adjusting the strength, then I click play, this is actually going to flicker in here. So you can set this so that, and so right now if I click on play, right, we're not gonna get too much of an effect in here, but if we adjust things like the strength, so if I bump that up to like 20, notice how now, I'm gonna get more of a flicker in here and it's just kind of a random noise that's been applied to the brightness value in here. And so you could also adjust the scale in here to get different effects and different speeds, other things like that, in order to get this to do what you want it to do. And so just note, we can do this with curves as well. So if I was to add a curve, just do a shift A, we'll add a Bezier curve, I'm gonna tab into edit mode and I'm going to delete my vertices, but then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna use the draw function just to draw a shape really quick. So we'll just draw something like this. So we've created a curve in here, right? You can kind of see it. Um, I'm gonna scale it to zero on the Z axis and I'll move it up so we can see it. But we've got this curve in here now. Well, what we can do is in the curve settings, we can go into our bevel. So we can scroll down, go to our bevel like this. That's gonna allow us to add a tube and then now we've got this tube in here, well then we just apply one of these materials to it. So we could add the blue material, whatever we want, and we can just kind of move these around um, in order to have this like live tube in here. So you could actually use this to draw shapes that you want inside Blender. So leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.